all the planets are changing the same way as the Earth is changing. The Earth changes are not unique to the Earth. They are a universal phenomenon throughout the solar system. In even intervals of 26 million years, every form of life on Earth spontaneously changes and upgrades from one type of creature to another. The DNA code itself gets rewritten, and I'm going to show you the evidence of how that happens. In fact, every ancient mystical and spiritual tradition speaks of a golden age that is coming. And they don't speak about it in a bland, sophomoric fashion. They speak about it in an exciting, invigorating, eye-opening way because of the extent to which they say things will be changed. The Mayan calendar is the primary vessel through which we have speculation that the year 2012 might be different than other years. That's the primary vessel that we have. But what I'm about to show you to open up the talk is that the Great Pyramid of Egypt actually has a timeline in it, and that timeline has 2012 as the most important year. Now, isn't it interesting that if you take the Pyramid of the Sun in Teotihuacan, and you take the Great Pyramid, that the square footage, the actual perimeter of the pyramid is exactly the same. The Pyramid of the Sun in Mexico, the Great Pyramid in Egypt. You have the Atlantic Ocean separating these cultures, which most people would say are completely different. But they both build pyramids. The Egyptian calendar happens to be a lot more complex to understand, but they both have a calendar that flags the year 2012. Now, do you honestly think that that means we can just blow this thing off and it doesn't mean anything? Both cultures on both sides of the Atlantic say that 2012 is going to be something spectacular. You are absolutely precious beyond anything you can imagine, beyond measure. You are a multidimensional being. You have an existence that if we could actually see all the different aspects of yourself, it would be so much more than just what we see in this room. It would be through stars, galaxies, constellations. We all have this multidimensional identity. My personal belief is that we are heading into a very positive spiritual unfolding uh, akin to the evolution of our human species into a higher capacity. The greatest gift of the Creator was to give each of us our free will to be able to decide how we're going to navigate through the lessons of our own evolution. Your mind is the universal mind, and the only way you access that universal mind is in the now. It's never going to be in the future. Negative experiences will repeat for as long as they remain useful to you. Well, then you have to say, what does useful mean? If something pisses you off, then you're getting use out of it because it's creating an emotional reaction. So if you can learn to have this ballet dance of karma, where experiences move through you without getting stuck to you, and you bless, and you release, and you forgive, and you accept, and you love, then more and more, those experiences won't repeat anymore because you're not going to get any value out of them. They won't have a catalytic value for you. So the focus that you hold in your life determines how your reality turns out. And I'm sure everyone on this stage is living proof of the fact that you can intend an entirely different life for yourself. So right now in this moment, let's just magnetize the fact that there is limitless luminosity around us and all we have to do is breathe it in and we can feel the grace in this moment. We're all being challenged. And if we can phase through these challenges with a positive attitude and focus, then we actually have the potential to go through a multi-dimensional evolution of our being. It's very important to remember that when I talk about 2012 tonight, I am not talking about something that's going to happen at the end. I'm talking about an ongoing spiritual transformation on the Earth in which there is a much higher degree of the very energy that makes us psychic that plunges us through these initiations, that revivifies and quickens the very nature of our being. Everywhere you look, if you want to, you can start seeing light. In this moment, there is love. In this moment, there is peace. Every moment of your life is a choice of whether you're going to forgive yourself and just let the warts and 
the zits and all the inconsistencies and the things that you've wished that you could have accomplished, just let go of that. The center of the galaxy is releasing ripples of energy structured like layers of an onion. As these evenly spaced walls shoot through the solar system, they reprogram the DNA on Earth. And all of the creatures on Earth are spontaneously transformed. You're also going to see evidence very clear in the fossil record showing that in even intervals of 26 million years, every form of life on Earth spontaneously changes and upgrades from one type of creature to another. The DNA code itself gets rewritten, and I'm going to show you the evidence of how that happens. The real working end of the 2012 prophecy, where we start to have the rubber meet the road, is looking at the solar system and seeing that all the planets are changing the same way as the Earth is changing. The Earth changes are not unique to the Earth. They are a universal phenomenon throughout the solar system. Global warming is an energetic phenomenon. And it's a phenomenon that, as I said, is occurring throughout the solar system. So that's a very significant piece of information for us to have because it gives us the power back. We're no longer out there expecting that these things cannot be dealt with. We do have the control. We do have the power. And it comes from pursuing the truth within ourselves and then that truth has a radiant quality that affects the whole planet. This is a universal event for humanity's entire history. It's not just about one religion, it's about something that benefits everyone. This time that we're in is a time of change and it's a time in which we all get to experience that change together. We're all in this together, and each one of you are one of those liberators. If you're watching this video on the internet, or if you're in this room with me right now actually seeing this live, you are one of those people who has been charged with a responsibility to share what you know with the people.